the biggest thing about creating your safe space is two foundational, fundamental pieces. One, you always have the choice to opt out. You don't always have to use words to opt out if it feels like it is aggressive, if it feels like it is coming at you without the intention, without um, actually just wanting to be understood or heard, meaning that there is a repertoire of back and forth communication. If you're just getting piled on, um, if someone is just projecting their stuff onto you, words do not, sometimes you no know, words are, are, are more powerful. Just turning around and leaving is always an option. And I said this before, but I'm going to reinstate it. It doesn't matter the environment you're in either. Um, this might feel a little uncomfortable and this might be like one of those pieces I'm now gearing myself towards uh, I guess it's relationships, but it doesn't always have to be. But it's it's that that little bit of a power struggle where if there you're there's a relationship and one person is just in a little bit of a heightened state, they're in the power position and you're feeling like you just have to support them or you have to stay there because you're their partner or because sometimes it even happens, you know, within the power dynamics of kids and adults and, you know, maybe kid is in full bah and, and you just need to be able to walk away. Like, honey, I love you. I'm not going to hand or I'm not going to stay here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm either leaving, I'm not going to, I'm just going to tell you that I'm going to go into the other room, you know, you touch back or you tune in when you're able to, to feel at a more calm space, because this is not okay for me. You know, these kind of dynamics um, are using words, but sometimes just turning around and leaving the scenario. Um, and if you are followed, meaning if that person is be trying to trigger you, no matter where you go, that is that is disrespectful. That is not respecting your environment, your um, your boundaries. And hopefully, you can, when they're in a more calm state, reinstate those boundaries. But at this stage, you just need to find a safe space, and you need to be able to cultivate that so that you can allow again. You're not breeding into and going into your irate reptilian brain which again there's no solution when you get into a state where you are no longer feeling your body you are no longer feeling your emotions you have very little ability to make conscious choices that are going to be with a solution based outcome so pretty much in a nutshell i'm going to say this in a little more of a blunt way you're going to end up just piling more shit into the shit storm and there's not going to necessarily be a solution that comes out of that there's going to usually be just more hurt more frustration more feelings of misunderstood um expressions because even if you are sharing things from a very calm state you are sharing them to a person that is not in a calm state and there's not going to be an outcome and and their outcome when they're in that state is to bring you to where they are um that just seems to be a little bit of a human piece as well it's like that that suffering enjoys company kind of component so believe me when they're in that heightened state i this is just you know, I don't enjoy being in that state that I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for everybody, but I know for myself, I, I, I dislike being and bringing people into that state with me. That's a piece that really makes me uncomfortable. So I will tend to, to get really quiet and internalize what's happening. Other people deal with it differently and they are very external, um, but they need to learn how to deal with things on their own and, and deal with things in a way that is healthy for the other individuals in their life. So to close this little bit of a segment today, I just wanted to, to say, so if you're in a situation, if they're the nervous system, you're going into your reptilian brain, or even you're just starting to feel those signs and symptoms of, of getting triggered, it's important to recognize that because that is an important tool that your your body, your emotions, your mind, and your your spirit, your source is giving you to let you know, oh, this does not feel good. Um, this can be handled, but maybe I'm just not in the right state of mind at this moment to handle it. I need to opt out. I need to communicate that I'm opting out 
or I just need to opt out altogether and and be able to to handle or be able to set some parameters if I feel like I'm in a really unsafe space where that doesn't happen again and reinstating that if I'm because of what I went through, I'm I'm very strong. I'm very solid. And again, those are the blessings between being and and surviving a very um, abusive relationship. Is my boundaries? That is a gift. I think I think that situation pretty much almost every day because my boundaries are solid and strong. I never lost my compassion though, and I think that's an important feature. My boundaries are solid and strong. So that individuals know what is okay and what isn't okay for me. And I always, or not always, I'm always working on making sure that my safe space is there and respected. Mm -hmm.